In this video, we are going to finally connect our UI with the inventory uh, data so we can load the data from the inventory scriptable object and we can swap them and everything gets saved into our scriptable object so we can check the data player inventory and we should see that now we have the same list here as the serialized uh, fields of our inventory items list as we see in our UI, so everything is now connected using the model view controller pattern. Currently, our swapping mechanic doesn't work because we haven't connected it to our inventory controller, so let's deal with that in this video. So, in our scripts folder, we need to go to our inventory controller and let's open this script up. Okay, so we have already created or prepared our UI let's remove the comment on this inventory data initialize method since this is how our inventory should work and let's instead create for now a list here so public list inventory items initial items equals a new list and we are going to use this to populate our initial items for the test purposes so we can select our inventory data initialize in the start right click on it quick action extract method and let's call it prepare inventory or inventory data just to be clear and of course we are going to uh, initialize this and here we are going to simply type for each tab tab twice and we are going to cre create this for each loop i want this item to be from the initial initial items and this will of course be inventory item okay and now what we want to do is check if item is empty we are going to continue since we do not want to put any empty items in the inventory although it doesn't really matter but now we can use our inventory uh, what was it inventory data and we are going to call uh, on it add item the method that we have created a while ago it requires an item so item dot item and we are going to also put here the quantity so item dot quantity okay now generally we could possibly create a new method because our add item will serve another purpose for in a bit so let's create this that we pass to it the item directly right click on it quick actions and generate this method and we are going to right click on this go to the definition uh, while we do not have a lot in our add item method what we can do simply is call our add item and we can pass the item dot item here and the item dot quantity so we are going to basically call the same method uh, uh, from the above but rather here instead of passing and splitting the data inside our inventory controller okay so this will be the prepare inventory data right now we are going to expand on it soon since we also need to have callback when the inventory data has been modified to update our inventory ui if we are watching currently the inventory ui okay anyways we are going to test it soon but right now let's finish implementing our handle dragging and swapping items so what we can do here create inventory item inventory item and we are going to call our inventory data dot get item at because we already have this method and we are, we are going to pass here item index so what can happen is that if our inventory item is empty, we have the empty item, we are going to simply return. We do not want to drag an empty item. I didn't mean to put here inventory item, uh, but item index. Okay, but if the item is not empty, we are going to call inventory UI create drag item. We have created this method a while ago. It requires a sprite. So we're going to call inventory item dot item dot item image and we need to have the quantity so inventory item dot quantity okay and this should create for us the item that we are going to drag so the additional ui element that we are going to drag now inside our handle swap items all we need to do is to create basically another method inside our inventory data so inventory data so our model dot swap items and we are going to pass the item uh, with the index one and the item 
with the index 2 that we have passed here to this method. Now again, we have assigned those uh, events uh, or callbacks to those events inside our prepare UI and we are uh, requiring the description because we do not have the data in our UI so we need to ask for the, uh, for the data here. If we swap the items in our handle swap items, uh, the inventory UI will not change the data itself. We need, will need to inform it. So let's right now right click on the swap items method that we have underlined in red and generate this method right click on it and go to the definition okay and here i will paste some code that we are going to have here let's change the definition to be public and we are going to have inventory item we need to get the first item so item one equals inventory items item index one now we are going to assign inventory items with index 1, the inventory items with index 2. So we are going to swap the first item with the second item's value. And since we are modifying the list of our items, this will change the uh, content of the inventory. So we are swapping the uh, inventory struct here. Now we are going to do the same with the second item, inventory items index Two, so item index 2 we're going to assign item 1 that we have saved here so the value of it again this will modify the list so we are going to change the content of the inventory and we will need to have another method inform about the changes because again if we have the ui ui doesn't store the data nor does it care about the data it waits for the inventory controller or the inventory data in this case to inform the inventory controller that something has changed inventory controller will then inform the ui and modify the ui data so right click on this inform about change method and quick actions and generate this method now what does it mean? Well, this means that we need to pass the same data that we are passing inside our get current inventory state. We need to pass the dictionary of int and inventory item to the inventory controller. Sorry about this. So we need to go up and in the, at the top of our inventory SO, we are going to create a public event action. So action delegate. And this will pass the dictionary int and inventory item. And we are going to call this on inventory updated or on inventory changed. Basically, this event will inform anybody that is interested about the inventory SO state that it has changed. This will make it for us it much easier to inform our UI because we do not need to always check in our inventory controller. Okay, we have swapped the item, so probably we need to check for changes and inform the UI. No, we are going to assign uh, the UI uh, through the inventory controller to the on inventory update method and it will get updated whenever the inventory so updates so we need to slide it down and we have this inform about changes private method that is currently empty or rather it throws an exception so we are going to call on inventory updated question mark dot to check if something is assigned some method is assigned to this event if it is we are going to invoke and we are going to call a get current inventory state since all we need to do is generate the dictionary that will contain the indices of the items that are have changed uh, that has changed and the in inventory item data itself okay so having this we need to go back to our inventory controller and of course assign ourselves to this we need to slide up and find our prepare inventory data method and we are going to call inventory data dot on inventory updated plus equals and we are going to create something like update ui or maybe update inventory ui although this is all about inventory right click on this quick actions and generate this method and as you can see it takes the obj so this is the inventory state and what we want to do is, first of all, we need to clear the inventory content since we are currently viewing it probably. So we need to call inventory UI. What we should have is reset all data or all items. So this should reset all the data from all the items in our inventory. Right click on this quick actions and generate this method. And next, what we want to do is call for each tab tab twice var item in our inventory state or this is the dictionary and we want to call inventory ui update data and we need to pass again item dot key i think we had this logic somewhere so we are maybe duplicating it item 
dot value and what we should pass here is the image so item dot image and we need to pass the quantity so item dot value dot quantity and again this is the uh, we are looping through key value pairs of int which is the inventory index and inventory item so this is the data that we have in our inventory uh, class so we are going to update all the items all you need to do is implement this reset all items functionality so right click on this go to the definition and what we want to do here is loop for each again tap tab twice and we are going to look for each var in our list of ui items and we are going to call item dot reset data and probably what we should also do is deselect them so item dot deselect just in case okay so with this done inside our inventory controller right now we are updating the inventory whenever we perform the change so uh, i think we had this handle uh, swap items we are swapping the items here so maybe it would be a good time to test our logic since we have created our handle dragging and handle swap items now in our inventory page so let's file and save all for now inventory page uh, right now it handles what happens when we end drag so we reset the dragged item with handle swap calls on swap items and we wanted to reset the dragged item here okay so for now let's leave it as is and we are going to find out if we want to select the new item or not so let's save all scripts and let's go back to unity great so now we know that we have resetted the inventory so let's select our player v2 we have initial items let's add three items uh, actually those will be the indices so let's add four items i want to set the first one to be five and i'm going to select the apple as the content the second one will be empty third one i'm going to select the one and we are going to select sword and uh, fourth one will be uh, maybe two and i'm going to select again the apple so now let's test if our script works so i'm going to press play and if I open the inventory, something strange has happened. So I think that I've made some mistake in my script. Let me go to my inventory controller script and edit this script. And what happens is when we are preparing our inventory data, we are looping for each inventory item item in the initial items. And if we go to our add item, right click on go to the definition, it calls add item that takes two parameters and one thing that I did wrong was I didn't return after we have found the empty item. So let's return. Okay, let's save the script. Let's go back to inventory controller and right now since we are adding the non-empty items rather we are adding the uh, we are discarding the non-empty item. Uh, we are not going to get any empty fields in our uh, inventory. All the items will be added one by one to the empty slots. Well, it doesn't really matter for our testing purposes. So let's save this for now. Let's go back to Unity. Okay. And now if you press play and press I to open the inventory, we can see that we have 5, 1, 2. If we can drag item, yes, we can. If we can swap it, yes, apparently we can. And as you can see, we have swapped two items. And now we can close the inventory, reopen it, and it should all be saved. So we can now swap the items and the... Uh, order of them and the uh, uh, quantity is all saved in our inventory and we can place them in some random spots and everything should work fine if i press pause uh, we can uh, check uh, or verify it by op opening our inventory and that's great about what is great about uh, using the scriptable object is that we can now verify the sword is indeed on the last spot the five apples are two spots uh, before it and on this uh, middle spot there is the two apple uh, item so everything works as expected and our data matches what we see in our inventory uh, ui so we know that everything works fine one more thing that i may want to tackle right now is that well, right now we have this item selected if we drag it we have no item selected but we have this item description showing up so this is not what we want we want to select this item so that we know that this description matches this item or we may want to clear it all so to do that let's go to our uh, script let's open ui inventory page and we have this handle swap so what i want to do is handle selection and i want to pass here our index 
So I don't know what the index, but inventory item UI. Okay, so now let's save this. Now we should be able to, right, uh, let's go to the definition, select this item, get its description. Now on description request, we'll ask our controller. So we have this uh, handle description request. We are going to get the item data. We are going to check if it is empty. But and we are going to update the description and the update description will set the description, deselect all items and select the selected item. So maybe it is a bit convoluted, but this way our inventory controller, inventory page and inventory uh, data uh, exchanges the information without necessity of all of those scripts knowing about each other. Now, of course we can make it a bit simpler, but basically now it should all work. So let's go back to Unity. Okay, and now if I open our inventory, this should have the starting list. And now if I select our sword, if I move it, now the sword that was dragged is still selected. So I can drag it here and here it is selected. So maybe this is something that you want. If not, then maybe you want to simply clear the selection and clear the description. Anyhow, this is uh, now, uh, or this is supposed to be working now as expected. Now, what we want to do is right click and open the action menu to see what we can do with this. So drop for example and eat. And we also want to ensure that we can collect items, add items and stack them together if we collect one more item of this type. But for now, let's focus on implementing this functionality where we collect new item so that we can stack it on top of uh, or on the same stack where there are already items of this type. Okay, see you in the next video.